Our next event is the Swan Insurance First Qualifier for tonight's Supercross Final. And the first five riders across the line will go automatically into that final. It's also the first appearance tonight by some of the overseas champions. And earlier today at practice, I spoke with top US rider Goat Brecker. He'll be racing in this heat on bike number B. Goat, how do you find the track here at Olympic Park? Well, it's very good. I think it's a little bit tight and uh, the jumps are real good. I think it'll be real good racing tonight. Do you see any dangers in the Australian riders? No, all the Australian riders are really impressive. They're very good riders and uh, I think the race is going to be very close tonight. It was uh, a very uh, tight practice yesterday between uh, Chuck Sun and Marty Moats. Are you going to get out and get them? Yeah, I hope so. I hope I'll be up there with them. There's no dangerous part of the track, you think? No, not really. They're all pretty, you know, pretty dangerous and pretty safe. I think everybody will do okay. Okay, best of luck. Thank okay, you. thank you very much. First of the qualifiers this evening, this should be a beauty. Ten laps in total, Goat Breaker, Stephen Gore. Stephen Gore, three-time Mr. Motocross, current Australian 250cc champion, riding the brand new Wiser 250J, Goat Breaker on the Kawasaki on the inside. Down goes the gate and into turn number one they go. Mike Trevor with it, number six who has the lead as they go down the back straight for the first time. Goat Brecker challenging and it's the Team Green Kawasaki's in the lead as they go down the back for the first time. Number six, Trevor Williams in the white helmet and the green, blue and white gear. Diving through the Marushu twist and over the stutter bumps and it's a Kawasaki challenge between Brecker and Williams side by side as they head off towards the back of the course. down the main straight and on towards the Honda Quads and our leader at the moment is number six Trevor Williams from Bansdale in Victoria, Goat Brecker from the USA in second place, in third place number eight Greg Toyama the Australian American rider now resident in South Australia, further back in fourth place we have Stephen Gore for the Toshiba Yamaha team, further back again to the rider on bike number 45 I think it was and that was Anthony Block on the Yamaha, down the back once again in the Kawasaki side by side action between Williams and Brecker and Brecker sneaks into the lead and takes over as they go up towards the top through the Yamaha struggle and it's Goat Brecker our new leader on lap number two as they come down towards our main stick battery. Trevor Williams in trouble on that occasion on the uni track Kawasaki and it's lost around about three or four lengths to his rival Goat Brecker but of course the two of them riding for the same team this evening. Brecker Cranking that Kawasaki as hard as he can into the braking area and around the left-hander at the end of the back straight over the Honda Quads, lining himself up now for 3XY. Around about 40 to 45 metres back to Trevor Williams in second place. And our third place man at the moment, current 250cc Australian champion, Stephen Gore. So for 10 laps, first of the qualifiers this evening. Remembering we want the top five riders to qualify for our final At the moment we're watching Goat Brecker from the United States of America carve up the Australian field in the first of four qualifiers. Pressure on Trevor Williams now as Stephen Gore starts to apply real trouble from behind on the YZ 250J. Brecker, then followed by Williams, then followed by Stephen Gore. A real good gaggle of fights, battling it out for fourth, fifth and sixth minor placings. But certainly no doubt about the reputations of the top three riders at this stage. Kawasaki first and second, Yamaha in third place. And can Stephen Gore narrow down that gap between himself and Trevor Williams? And eventually try and narrow down that gap between himself and the flying American, Go Brecker. Up to the northernmost part of the course. Through the Marusha motorcycle helmets together with the sport road outfit. Goat Brecker on the Kawasaki 250cc uni track. Trevor Williams in second place at the moment on the similar machine, the green Kawasaki 250. And in third place we have Stephen Gore on the YZ250J. Further back in fourth place at the moment, number 13, Greg Caddy. In fact, he's having a real good battle between uh, himself and number 12, Mark Pace, who recently switched from Husqvarna to Suzuki in the latter part of the 1981 motocross season. In fact, Mark Pace came back very, very well at Amaru Park for the Supercross up there very late last year and put in a magnificent performance. And in fact, I think he was chasing Marty Motes on that occasion and really showed that he had the determination to win. Mark Pace, one of the riders, one of the real stars of the Mr. Motocross series some five or six years ago, and has had a fairly long period since then. Meanwhile, the action continues at the head of the field with Goat Brecker from the USA, still leading from Trevor Williams, Stephen Gall in third place. And the 13th fourth place, Greg Caddy. Caddy from the United 
United States, rookie of the year, 500cc circuit, US in 1979. He also took out a 500cc national victory at Lakewood in Colorado in 1980. One season and Kawasaki is certainly pinning their hopes on him for 1982. He's their top car as far as the 82 season is concerned. He's certainly proven that he was a worthwhile investment here this evening in Lincoln Park. Go Brecker in the lead. Over the tabletop and down towards the Honda Quads. Trevor Williams content at this stage to stay in second place on the Kawasaki. Stephen Gore likewise in third on the Yamaha. Going back to that great scrap of fourth, and it looks like that may have dissolved now with number 13 still holding up a fairly secure fourth place and number 13 was Greg Caddy on the Honda. He's been followed on the track by number 8 Greg Toyama on the Suzuki. Greg Toyama, the rider who finished third in the 1980 125cc Australian Motocross Championship with a dynamic battle between himself and Robert Ford Bailey. Then followed by Grant Kramer further back in the field on bike number 14. And a number of riders retiring to the pits, obviously not coping with the horrendous course of the season as far as keeping your physical attributes up to date. Six laps down for our leader, Go Breakers. Four to go in the first of the ten lap qualifiers tonight. The Swan Insurance race number three on the program. The gap remaining the same between first, second, and third. We might just try and get the gap on the riders as they come down the main straight again. At our main commentary point. In second place we've got Trevor Williams and it looks like Stephen Will now starting to narrow down that gap. Stephen one of the fittest riders on the Australian motocross circuit. As I mentioned at the outset of our commentary this evening has jetted back in from the US this evening and will go back again tomorrow. A lot of pre-season training slowly and shortly wearing down Trevor Williams who currently holds second place. Four lines going back towards second third. Stephen Gall now starts to put pressure on Trevor Williams. Classic Victorian versus New South Wales battle, and it's a Kawasaki versus Yamaha. Two riders, experienced top line motocross riders. Stephen Gall 24, Trevor Williams 21. Stephen Gall being one of our professional motocross riders in this country. Trevor Williams by trade is an electrician. These days concentrates heavily on his motocross. The blue flag has come out, so there's less than one lap to go to Brecker. As he wheels past a little bit of the slower traffic on the course and we can uh, concentrate on the second and third. Great battle between Williams and Gore. All over by the shouting for the sixth position seems to be settled. into the finishing straight now to end the first of our qualifiers and what about a very big hand for Goat Brecker who takes this one out for Kawasaki the first of the qualifiers this evening second place will go to number six Trevor Williams from Victoria and third place to Stephen Gore from New South Wales on the 250 Yamaha so it's congratulations to America's Goat Brecker for taking that one off from Australia's Stephen Gore and Trevor Williams